Stop dreading your website build. Design, functionality, and looking good on your entire site can feel like a mountain. But what if you could bring a professional site that you love to show off with no technical background? Look, I've helped hundreds of clients make millions of dollars on their website. And today we're gonna dive deep into seven techniques that you can use as a non-designer that people pay me thousands of dollars for that you can make a website that you love and is just beautiful and something you absolutely show off to everyone. By the end of this video, you're going to have some clear steps on what to focus on, what to prioritize, and what to forget about. And the best part is we're exploring some really simple layout techniques that can really make your website effective, impactful, present, and clear. And if you are looking to find the right tool to get started on to build your website, I definitely would recommend checking out the first link down below. You're going to be able to create a website that you love with that link and get started today. Everything I'm going to cover in today's video is going to impress you and it's all built with the tool that is linked down below. All right, let's get into it. All right, so technique number one is the power of white space. This is probably the biggest mistake I see a lot of non-designers make. They just stuff everything right next to each other, on top of each other, and there is no space for anything to breathe or to build a sense of priority. You want to ask yourself this question and make sure that your audience, whoever is viewing your website, has the answer to this at all times. What is the most important element of this section? When I look at a section, I should be able to see the headline, the image, the button. It should be very, very clear what is the most important thing so that my eye knows exactly where to go. Everyone operates under a sense of focus. If I look over here, I'm not looking over here. And so I want to be able to look at your page and know exactly where to look and where my eye should go and where it should go after. And design does that for you without you necessarily needing to say, step one, read this. Step two, read that. Design does the hard work for you. And one of the key ways to do that is with clear white space. When you give your elements room to breathe, suddenly everything feels more clear and and trustworthy, which is what you want to build with your audience. Here is the rule. For every element you add, give it at least 40 to 60 pixels of padding. Your visitors will thank you. Just take a look at some of these examples that are on the screen right now. You see how much white space there is? Even if you look at Apple's website, there is a ton of white space on any section and your eye knows exactly where to go. But once you have ample white space, how do you lay out the content? on your page. Well, this leads us to number two. I feel like this rule actually came from photography. When I first learned photography about 12 or 13 years ago, they taught us the rule of thirds. But this rule is pure gold. Imagine your web page divided into a grid three by three. The magic happens when you place most important elements along these lines or at the intersections. So instead of centering everything, which could feel a little static, try placing your hero image on the left two thirds and your headline on the right third, or flip it. This creates visual attention that keeps people engaged. You can also use 50-50, but then divide the content up where it is laid out in a way where the headline is top left, the button and description is bottom right, and then the image is on the right half. I use these design principles on everything I build and it honestly instantly makes everything lay out better and feel more clean and professional. Which which leads us to number three, hierarchy throughout all your typography. People love to skim and you want to make it as easy as possible for people to skim your website. So a clear hierarchy that guides the eye exactly where you want them to go, this changes everything. So focus on a clear hierarchy that makes headlines bigger than descriptions and that makes subheadings bigger than body text. You want to make sure that everything falls from the headlines down and that as someone goes through the page, they know what text is more important just by skimming it. And this is why I partnered with Wix on this video. Out of the box, they offer everything we've discussed for you to get started today. They have tons of free templates, hundreds of them, that you can go find one you love and then put your own flair and personality on it. Use that link down below to get started today and build your website on Wix. Plus, you're going to get so 
so much more advantage by having the right system to start with because it is going to scale with you. Whether you start a blog in the future or do e-commerce or membership, community, any of those things, you'll be able to do all of that through Wix. Now back to typography, the size, the actual font size is one thing, but also using bold for headlines or semi bold and then using regular for body text is really important. It allows again, a nice level hierarchy, which makes it very clear for users to know where to look first, where to look next and the importance of information. And this leads us to number four. If you think about everything on your website as a container, the strategy here is going to make every layout simple and clean. Now this one's really dear to my heart because I think every website is either very clear or very confusing based on this specific principle. If you get containers right, you get everything else right. Basically the idea here is don't say more than one thing in any one container. As an example, you could have a section that says about us and then have three icons that highlight three unique value propositions about your company, but that is one section. You don't have like about us and then one of those be like services. That's confusing. You feel how that's already like a gap. You want to make every container focus on one thing. You want to take it to another level, make your entire website focus in on one call to action and every container in some way, some form or fashion is pointing people to that one goal. This is what sets most people apart from an amateur website or a professional website. Everything either feels very scattered and random or it feels very structured. These containers, which don't even have to be visible, they could just be a white section on your site really holds the content together and gives individuals who are visiting your site clear instruction on what they're looking at and how to absorb it. And this is clear with Wix that every section you build is a container. And so you can make it really easy for people to know what they're looking at when they're scrolling your site, what to do next and everything in between. So if you get all those items down, there's one other thing that if you don't get this one, it's going to throw everything else off, which is going to be color and and the psychology around color. Color isn't just about looking pretty. It's about the psychology and the thought process behind every color. You don't need to be a color expert, but just knowing a few key principles are going to help you a lot. Number one, very clear formula. Only use one primary color, your brand color. I literally cannot emphasize this enough. If you are not a professional designer using more than one color, it's going to get really busy very fast and it's going to lose a lot of attention as well. Once you've decided on your main primary color, let's say blue, for instance, then you could choose some type of neutral or accent to that blue. So I'll give you a few examples. A neutral could be like a beige, an accent could be like a very, very light blue that almost doesn't feel like a color, but it feels on brand. And then the third option could be just like a nice gray. So then you have white and black, that's just by default. Then you have blue as your main primary color. And then you could have like a gray, you could have like a very light blue or potentially like a beige if that made sense for your brand. And look at it, now you have a full suite of colors for your website that feels on brand and you really built it off of one core color. You do not need a few colors. You just need one. I know I said it, but it is so important to emphasize, especially for new designers. And then for the most part, you're going to use that color very sparingly. Only use it on important buttons or links in areas that really you want to highlight and emphasize. And please, this is really important. You want to make sure that it's very easy to read everything on your site and that the color doesn't make it hard to read. You don't want to put really, really close colors together that make the contrast really, really low. And there are tools that you can use that will help you figure this out as well that I could link down below for you. Now, technique number six, the F pattern layout. Eye tracking studies show that when people scan your website, they scan it in this like F pattern. They look across the top, scan down, and then from left to right. This makes for a very, very clear way for you to lay out your content. And smart designers know this. You could put your most important information in these zones. This isn't just about theory. It's literally backed by tons of data. So make sure your content flows in a natural way. People read books left to right. So people are going to read your content left to right. And this leads us to number seven, which I honestly would say a lot of these are very important, but this one's really important as well. The phrase people use is a mobile first responsive, like design process or thinking process. But I would really say mobile is where people start the engagement with a new brand. So they're on Instagram, 
they find your brand, they click on it and they start to get a feel for you. So it's kind of mobile first, but in another regard, it's like bite-sized information first. That's the way I like to think about it. Here's what separates pros from amateurs. They design with this mobile first and then scale up mentality, not the other way around. You really want to think if someone lands on your homepage and they start scrolling, are they going to get to the content they're looking for in the time that they have? They're going to be on your site for literally milliseconds. Are they going to find what they're looking for? 60% of web traffic starts on a device, on a mobile device. So you don't want to be losing out on so much traffic because your mobile experience is just poor. So make sure everything is readable. The flow is nice and use this container idea that we discussed earlier to really prioritize content as they go through the page. And you may be asking, how do I get started on all this today? Well, get started with that link down below, start your Wix website, and you will be off to the races with most of these principles built into their design philosophy from the start. You're going to have professional design with a site that can scale with you as you grow. Their template library is huge, like I mentioned before, and it's going to cover everything you need to get started. Plus, their editor is really easy to use, and you can fine tune every detail to your liking. Then once you build something you love, you could easily duplicate that page or that section and be able to use it throughout your site. All the while making sure your mobile experience is exactly the way you want. Maybe the final tip I would give you is your website isn't about you. It's about your visitors experience. And so all of these tips and techniques are going to help you take the right steps to make that experience just beautiful, easy, and help you land more business, which is the reason why you built the website in the first place. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.